Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and astrology stars come together to help you by combining the visual messages of the tarot and the energy of astrology, you can be prepared for the opportunities and the challenges that are coming your way this month. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out. The tarot card for the first week of the month is Justice. It represents balance and good judgment. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Eight of Swords. It represents a sense of fear and bondage. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Chariot. It represents movement and victory. And the tarot card for the final week of the month is the Two of Pentacles. It represents choices and outcomes. Cancer, the tarot card for the first week of the month is Justice. Justice is the card of ultimate balance. The sword in her hand has the potential of cutting both ways. The scales are held in perfect balance, suggesting a positive flow between the past and the future. As we stand on this precipice, we can see there are needed changes that should be made. But we can also see that some would take advantage and turn the system to their advantage. So we ask, may true justice be done. Now, as we look into the astrology, the month opens with a beautiful Venus-Jupiter conjunction, and that is up in your 10th house. This is a time for good possibilities and career achievements. You look and feel your best and can make a great impression on clients and business owners. Don't be too social or inflated, but take advantage of new opportunities, especially where popularity helps you get ahead and females may also play a part. Now, Mercury will conjunct Saturn so serious conversations may be needed with partners, especially in investment strategies. But most important is Saturn's entry into Pisces for the first time in 28 years, bringing a new cycle of growth. You must develop your vision for the future, and you must develop a practical goal to achieve your ambition. Now, as we look into the tarot card, the card for the second week of the month is the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> a woman is blindfolded and encircled by swords, representing danger, confusion, and a sense of powerlessness. However, there are gaps in the placement of the swords, and she needs to be aware that there is danger, but by maintaining clarity, she can find a way out of her dilemmas. As we look into the astrology, week two opens with gentle energy as Venus will sextile Mars and Mercury sextile Uranus. Now, this is a good time to visit and communicate with friends and network with them and things like that. The Sun and Mercury conjunct Neptune up in your ninth house, and that opens your mind, but... Mars squares the elusive planet from down here in your 12th house of personal limitations, and that can create an atmosphere of insecurity. So this may disrupt your ability to analyze and understand needed information and force you to slow down your quest for success. You must be careful to follow the rules of the game. The week ends as Venus up in the 10th house will square Pluto over in the 7th house of relationships. Now, this warns you to not to get too involved in power plays with people who know the game better than you do. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Chariot. This is a card of leaving the past and moving ahead to the future. The energy present this week suggests there may be a lot of forward motion. You may be able to see a glimpse into your future potential 
and your ability to command ideas may grow. So look forward for success. Now as we look into the astrology, the third week opens with an exact Sun-Mercury conjunction up in your ninth house of understanding. You need to take time to explore your beliefs and your feelings. The exact nature of this aspect is called combust and tends to focus people on their own interests and this can cause some irritation. So you need to understand that other people may have different beliefs and feelings. Now there are a few sextiles that will help modify this energy, but Mars will square the Sun and Mercury from your 12th house of limitations and fears. So you need to be in control of your emotions, your temper, and your need to prove yourself. This warns you to be careful not to allow impulsiveness or hidden motivations to rule the day. The tarot card for the last week of the month is the Two of Pentacles. The card shows a man juggling two pentacles. The pentacles are on different planes, suggesting two possibilities are being weighed. Which will be the best? Which will bring most success? The pentacles themselves are supported by the infinity symbol, suggesting life is an ongoing flow of choices. Now, as we look into the astrology, the month ends with mental Mercury joining expansive Jupiter in the 10th house, bringing a new sense of independent thinking and adventure to your career. You want to expand your ability to be successful and to influence others. You feel the world may be your oyster, and you have a new plan to get ahead. And you'll be happy to tell everybody about it. Be careful. Now, Venus will conjunct unstable Uranus in your 11th house. Now, you have to be careful because this is the house of associates, so you'll have to watch out for jealousy and be careful not to mix business and pleasure. But do keep an eye open for some good luck. There is a nice trine between Saturn and Mars from your ninth to 12th houses, and that suggests you might gain some new understanding that you can use to promote your ambitions and create more success. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores and it may help you on your spiritual journey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like this video, subscribe, and ring the little bell to be notified when new videos come out. And if you'd like to arrange a private psychic and spiritual reading with astrology, just go to my website, internetpsychicreadings.com or professorastrology.com.